Remember when you were younger and you had never had your own cell phone, but it seemed like all of your friends did? And so you begged your parents to buy you one, and they finally gave in and you were so excited. It felt like a cell phone was a portal to a whole new adult world, and you were finally a part of it. And it is still true that your cell phones have nearly endless capabilities, and they are incredibly useful devices. But with these positives come several potential pitfalls. And if you aren't careful, decisions that may seem totally harmless at the time could come back to bite you later on in ways you might not have considered. Imagine being a senior in high school, full of anticipation for your college years to come, when you begin to receive rejection letters from several of the colleges of your dreams. You don't understand it. Your GPA is stellar. Your test scores are excellent. You have solid letters of recommendation. Why do they all seem to be rejections? You wait nervously for another letter to show up, and when that one finally comes, and it too is a rejection, you decide to take the initiative to find out for yourself why exactly you, an excellent student on paper, are being passed up. You call up and anxiously await the information upon which you have been turned away. After conversations with multiple members of collegiate admissions boards, you learn that in addition to the standard admissions processes employed by colleges nationwide, which cover everything from GPA to letters of recommendation, in the last several years, admissions boards have begun viewing prospective students' social media accounts as a sort of character examination. Based off of what they see from your posts on social media, if there is anything they deem inappropriate or unfit for their school, it is not unusual for them to send rejection letters based on that evidence alone. Confused, you look back at your social media posts from the last couple years, and what seemed innocent at the time now appears shameful and problematic when considered under the lens of an admissions person. All those comments that made others think you were a bully, forwarding those pictures from that friend as a joke, disrespecting the school online, and even putting down your teachers by name, you panic and quickly delete everything that could be harmful to your professional reputation. But by now, it's too late. Nothing on the computer is ever completely deleted. Your digital footprint has been laid.